Hi, welcome to Topics in Macroeconomics. This topic is nominal and real interest rates. The nominal interest rate, which I will indicate by the symbol little i, is the interest rate which is most commonly quoted in financial markets. For example, if I go to the bank and take out a loan, the interest rate on that loan will be quoted in nominal terms. Or if I look at my credit card statement, the interest rate I pay on my credit card will be a nominal interest rate. The key feature of a nominal interest rate is that it indicates the return to a loan purely in monetary terms. That is, it indicates the number of units of currency that are paid on a loan. Consider the example of a one-year loan. The amount of the loan, or principal, is 500 Australian dollars. At the end of the year, the loan principal is repaid along with an interest payment of 25 Australian dollars. We can calculate the nominal interest rate on the loan in the following manner. At the end of the year, the amount that needs to be repaid is $525, the loan principal plus the interest payment. To calculate the nominal interest rate, subtract from, take 525, subtract 500, the initial principal, and divide the whole thing by 500. This gives us 25 over 500, or 0 0.05. To convert this to a percentage, we simply multiply by 100, and this gives us 5%. So the nominal interest rate in this case will be 5%. One of the limitations of the nominal interest rate is that it does not take into account the effect of a change in the price level on the real purchasing power of a unit of currency. In many circumstances, we'll be interested in knowing the return to a loan in terms of its ability to purchase real goods and services. This leads to the concept of the real interest rate, which I will indicate by the letter capital R. Consider again our one-year loan. However, now suppose that over the course of the loan, the price level increases by 2%. We can represent this by assuming that at the beginning of the year, the price level is 100, and at the end of the year, the price level is 102. We can calculate the return on the loan in the following manner. At the end of the year, the amount of the loan that needs to be repaid is $525. To convert this to real terms, we simply divide by the price level at the end of the year. From this, we subtract the principal divided by the price level at the beginning of the year, and then this difference is divided by the principal divided by the initial price level. Doing the calculation tells us that the real return will be 0.0294. To convert this to a percentage, we simply multiply by 100. So the real return on the loan is 2.94%. So, in our example, the nominal interest rate on the one-year loan is 5%, while the real interest rate on that loan is 2.94%. The key difference between these numbers is the fact that the nominal interest rate measures the return to a loan in purely monetary terms, while the real interest rate indicates the return to a loan in terms of the ability to purchase real goods and services. Let's finish with an exercise. Suppose that the price level had increased by 8% rather than by 2%. Calculate the real interest rate on the loan. See you next time.